writing room. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it, Katie. So, you know, Americana, alt rock, flaming talent. You know, so happy to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, happy. totally. Totally. So your new single, Politician, it's out now already. I mean, it's an incredible song. First, let's start with that, Katie. The music video is wonderful, too. Aww. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you're such a badass in the video. You know, it's your first song in three years. Uh, I've heard it probably 20 times, and every time it just gets better. It's layered. It's remarkable. So congratulations. Thank you. That's great to hear. <laughs> yeah, totally, Katie. And Katie, the big question to start and be honest, because you have such an interesting career and like you've had such an interesting journey from Philly to here. And, and be honest, can a musician be made? Can a musician be made or are you born a musician? Like since your Philadelphia days, you've been a, music, a musical soul, right? Is it that you were born with a talent and wanted to understand the language of music or is it something that through practice like John Smith and Joan Smo can be good enough to sing and be in a great band like you? Uh, I mean, I think it's a little bit of both, definitely. Um, I was singing from the time I could like talk. So, and my family's all pretty musical. So it was pretty natural. Um, but yeah, no, I think, it, I think it's both. I think you have to be wanting to put in the work and wanting to do it. And the natural ability helps too. Right. You, know, you have an ear for music and yeah, because when you because when you hear about sometimes or you read about like Paul McCartney, right, that at an early age, he could pick up any any instrument and make it happen, you know, savants for some reason. Yeah. Um, but when you think about you, Katie, you know, like like the, the way you just torched the guitar, you know, in uh, in songs like Long Face, for example, you know, oh. that's got to be that's 10,000 hours right there. You know, that's that's my gut. <laughs> I mean, some of the main parts aren't me. I don't I don't, I don't play that well. But, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I mean, I did write it, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Totally, totally. So Katie, you know, er, er, your early life in Elizabethtown, um, that's where you grew up, right? Yes. E-Town, e is that E-Town? Is that how the cool kids call it, E-Town? E-Town, yes, good old E-Town. <laughs> that's great. You know, I first heard about that uh, that town from that movie. You remember that movie, right. Elizabethtown? That's Elizabethtown, Kentucky. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, I'm well, so sorry. Okay. I mean, Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania is there's a college there. That's about it. <laughs> probably better. E -town. If it's called E-Town, it's probably cooler. But anyway, you know, so your journey, Katie, to this point uh, was very interesting because in E-Town, in, e in Elizabethtown, you know, you start writing songs at 15. Uh, yeah. But, mo but yeah. mostly, yeah, but mostly playing like local talent shows, right? Yeah. The E-Town Fair. Yeah. Amazing. So, so. So when was it? Was it a Temple University where you like like took a course and you were like, okay, like I can actually make a living off of this? What was that spark? Um, so it's it's always what I wanted to do, but you know, when I and it's still the case, but they that were pressured to go to college and get a degree, and I never knew what I wanted to do because I always wanted to do music. So, uh, but I did take a pop songwriting course at Temple, and that was uh -huh. cool. Um. And then I kind of actually, for my last two years of college, I wasn't writing at all. I kind of hit a block and I just like, my living environment, not that it was bad or anything. It just wasn't like, I wasn't feeling creative. It wasn't a That's good creative environment. So then I kind of, it wasn't until after college, I graduated and then I moved in with my friend Will in West Philly. And I just like started writing again. I had more time to just, no more school, no more internships. I just focused on, you know, what I wanted to do again. Yeah, and, yeah. Will and and Josh, right? Josh Worldborn. <laughs> yeah, and, Josh and Worldborn. Suffering. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. Um, but but what happened there? Like, I'm just curious to fill that gap because obviously at Temple, you know, you took this course, you did good. I think you know maybe you had like a like a not so good experience with the teacher like discouraged a little bit like is something like that what happened yes how'd you know that <laughs> no, no no i'm just trying to fill in the gaps because like you know you go to temple get the juice and then like a little discouraging right i did i actually was working with a teacher a professor after that and it wasn't really going anywhere um and i just like i don't know i kind of hit a wall and i was like yeah. you know what? i need to take a step back for a bit finish this crap and then <laughs> I'll get back to it. And I did. I got you. I got you. That's great, Katie. And, you know, you've been on a hiatus and, and that's and that's been interesting as also to analyze. Right. Because um, there's one particular video, Katie, 
uh, of you from bands in the backyard, black and white, old old school video in in like a Philadelphia back alley. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know, I don't it like it's like you you didn't love being in front of the camera. That's <laughs> that's that's just like a, the first impression, right? I mean, it was a long time ago, but then you come out into 2021. <laughs> How do you navigate this time, Katie? You know, where it's like it's just even different from 2018. The self promoting the TikTok, the Spotify, the playlists, the me, look at me, look at me. Like, it's a lot, right? How do you handle that? Well, it's tough being, um, you know, a millennial, someone, you know, in your early 30s. Right. I just got a TikTok um, and I'm trying to learn that. And it's, uh, I feel like an old lady, you know? Yeah, (laughs) totally. Um, It's always an inner battle, you know? But I've gotten better at it, I think, as far as like, posting stuff on Instagram and not trying not to overthink it as much and just, just doing it, trying yeah. to have fun with it. I think, I think that's what, you know, I've been reading lately that the generation under us, I guess, generation C or whatever, they, yeah, Gen Z. they're more, they're more, more about like, whatever, like less polished. Yeah. You know? and uh-huh. That's a good thing, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's funny you say that because, you know, yeah, I have been reading about that too. But I'm yeah, sure, totally. Yeah. Okay. They like Go my ahead. cat videos on TikTok better than anything I've posted songwriting. I can't figure it out. <laughs> I love it. What What's your TikTok, Katie? Katie Frank Music. Okay, you there you me. go. Oh, we'll to- we all will. <laughs> can't wait. Can't wait to uh, get in there. Do a little side by side of a uh, politician. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. So Katie, okay. So three years hiatus before, you know, in the, before it wasn't that big of a deal. Bands did it all the time, you know, three, four years between albums. It was normal actually was expected because like you finished a cycle, you know, you went through this whole story and you needed to like, just recharge artistically. Um, You know, now it's, it's like a gap, you know, Mm -hmm. we're in this era where, I mean, Taylor Swift last year, God, God bless her like four albums, you have artists like dropping singles here, singles there, little EPs. Um, how was like that transition as well for you? Was was that like an issue at all or not really? Um, so I never at any point stopped writing or like playing music. Um, right. Just was, I actually had a finished album and then I kind of had a falling out with the, the person who produced it. Um, and I won't go into that too much, but like I ended up not releasing all the songs on that album. And like at that point I had been coming to right. visit Nashville. And how, how was, was that? How was that move? That was a big move. That was, that was a big move. We'll say that. <laughs> um, yeah. it, it, and it was a transition. Yeah. Um, and we moved here June of 2019. 2019. Okay. So, so yeah, then I just, I kind of wanted a fresh start, you know? Um, yeah. And I was ready to, and I was writing a lot and, you know, I just, yeah. And I wanted to expand. Um, I love Philly. Philly is my heart, but you know, 100%. I felt like I kind of, I just, I needed to blossom somewhere else, like if you will. <laughs> I totally, totally hear you. I totally hear you. I mean, like I, I was in my, I'm a Miami guy. I did Miami radio for 12 and a half years and I'm in Nashville now as well. So yeah, the city, the city has that pull for sure. It does. It sure does. You know? Yeah, totally. And how was the move in itself, Katie? I mean, like, okay, like the transition, the first few months for you, new, new neighborhood, new groceries, new friends, that whole, <laughs> that whole like thing, right? Cause like, after being like in autopilot in Philadelphia, basically. Right. Um, I mean, I won't lie. It was a little tough at first. It's never what you expect it to be. Like I had done trips down here and I had, you know, done writing sessions and of course have this idea in my head of what it's going to be like. And, you know, you get down there and it's totally not what you expect at all. Um, so it was a transition period, but not in a bad way. Uh, at this point, I feel like it's better than you know, what I had envisioned and it's growing to be better. But we've also been here longer with COVID existing than we were without it. So yeah, that's also, you know, everyone Definitely. wanted to adapt and, to that. And you and you got tornadoes too. You got the tornadoes thing, right? Yeah, before. the tornado. Mm-hmm. It's like, we moved here for the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, Katie. So, so Politician is your return single. After three years, um, you know, when you jam with some of your bandmates, Katie, uh, 
you know, you make it seem like you guys were all in the same room together. Like it's just so crisp, but it's so tight. Being in a pandemic, did you guys record it physically in the same space or was it like with the with technology? So we did. It was actually right right when COVID started, like right before, you know, okay. mass mandates were in place, like it was right before then. Um, so we were, we did live live recording. I mean, it was just me in the little vocal booth with my guitar and everyone else tracked live. And um, then, yeah, we did three songs back in March and mm -hmm. then pandemic hit and it was kind of like a lull and then uh, just recorded four more in December. And that time around, oh. everybody wore masks the whole time and all that, but you know, still did it. So I was very happy that we were able to. That's great. But, That's great. So can you give us some teaser on your plans for later this year, maybe? Yeah, well, I'm going to be releasing something, another song pretty soon in the spring, um, probably end of March, early April. But you'll see. Yeah, I'll, I'll announce it soon. <laughs> Can't wait. Can't wait. Um, yeah. And then I'll be releasing music throughout the year um, leading up to the album's called Small Town Minds. So Small Town Minds. Yeah. I love it. Love the name. Love the name. Katie, and actually, you know what? Let me ask you about the video but for Politician, because it really, it's really obvious that you had a great time making it. <laughs> and, and, it's, and, it's, and it's really funny, and it's, uh, everyone should see it, and it's, you know, the message of the song is there. So the message of the song, it's obviously not about a politician. It's about oh. someone that, like, kind of, like, writes the coattails of other people to look good, right? Yeah, more or less, yeah. More or less? Yeah. T tell us a little bit about 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 the, the song, if, if you will. Sure. So when I was in Philly, I worked at a nursing home mm -hmm. in recreation uh, for four years. I was at St. John Newman. And when you're in recreation, you do like the bingo and the exercises and all, you know, you have to be a team player. Um, and we had this one coworker who came in and she started buying us all this food and was super, super over the top nice. And I was like, huh, um, you know, like right. at, <laughs> at first, yeah, at first she was like impossible not to like. And then as I, we were trying to train her, it was like, she just was impossible to train and she would kind of do whatever she wanted, but she would also kind of be overly nice and buy people things and kiss up to everybody. So everybody thought she was wonderful. Yeah. And, you know, she would buy residents food that they're on, they're on strict diets or certain diets, depending on their health issues and that they can't have. And you would tell her that they, that they can't have it. And she would give you attitude, stuff like that. But anyway, okay. yeah, I think she was running for office of some kind too. I don't, God. I don't know, but I wrote the song about her. <laughs> it was for the photo op. I understood. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God. That's did. very cool. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. That's so cool, Katie. So um, there's a little rumor on the street that you may play a little uh, ditty for us. Is that true? Yeah, I have, I have one prepared if you would like to hear it. I, we would be honored. I mean, if you're down for it, absolutely. Sure. So exciting. Yeah, I got my guitar here. Thank you. So look at that guitar. Oh my, that's a beautiful guitar. Thank you. It's um, an Orpheum. It's a 1930s that I had... You know. So Katie, can I give you, can I, could I give a great guitarist like you any guitar and you would make it sound good? I can't promise that. I, or does it have to be an I Orpheum? I don't think I'm a great guitarist, but <laughs> that's... I, th I think you're a great guitarist. Thank you. From, from, yeah, 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 absolutely. But uh, so you think, you think I could give you like a, you know, a secondhand guitar, so-so from like whatever, from the thrift shop and you could like play a, play a gig with it. You could, you could make it happen. Sure, probably. I mean, I'm not uh, too much of an electric player. I couldn't rip a solo, but I could I could play, you know, an original. <laughs> cool. All right. There you go. I always wanted to ask that. So there you go. <laughs> awesome. So what are you going to play for us, Katie? Uh, I'm going to do Dark Cloud. Dark Cloud. Is that one? Okay. Oh, perfect. That's great. Yeah. Super exciting. Awesome. Mm -hmm. This is on the upcoming uh, album. So it's a good one. It's a nice transition to from politician, a little different. So are we getting a premiere? Is that what's happening here? Um, sure, yeah, you wanna? <laughs> no, 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 like what I'm saying, like, is this the first time you've played it like 
to the um, world? Oh, no, I've played it at shows and stuff, but... Okay, then never mind. <laughs> never mind. Control Z, Control Z. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is Dark Cloud. She knows this road she's been here before Waiting for him to show up at her door When he comes calling back And she finally tells him what he lacks She kept the things he left in the bathroom When he picked them up when he's in town And the first thing she'll say is how he needs to take the blame. She knows there's a dark cloud falling. She can't see the light. Dancing with revenge and shadows. The dark clouds, all she knows. song thank you <laughs> oh so powerful it just goes to your gut like oh, oh my oh. god like unbelievable thank you That's... for sharing that i'm honored to thank you for having me on it was a great pleasure yeah and you know and, and after covid i'm sure we'll cross paths as soon as we start playing around town so looking forward to that yeah i'm looking forward to uh getting back to live shows hopefully in the fall I'm yeah, thinking. that's that's what it's uh, that's what it's trending towards. So knock on wood, absolutely. Katie Frank, it's a pleasure. What an honor! Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Take care. Bye. Bye.